we have achieved this great victory and made this a safe country, and that's the predicate for everything that follows. And the next thing we're going to do in this term is to is to work on the economy to make yeah, it better. Grow the economy, yeah. And you said I have a. Th- if, correct me if I'm wrong. You said I have a three point plan, and I'm thinking I wonder what that is. I don't know. Start a Federal Reserve Bank, and you, you said the first oh, the first point of my plan is seek God's wisdom. Yes, that is what you said. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. Why Why would that be the first point of an economic why, plan? Why wouldn't it be? Why well, should it be the first part of the plan? Well, I think it should be. Yeah, but I can't. And most people would think that, right? I just, I've never heard any leader of any be, country be, say because, that. Because they, they, probably they forgot to represent the people that elect them, that elect them, yeah. It, it's like you ask most of the people that elect the politicians, they said, yeah, that's, that, that's fine, yeah, I, I believe that. But then you ask the politician, and he would say, no, 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 that's not. I mean, so who, who, is, he, who, who is he trying to pander into? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make sense, right? Do you think so it's, it's a common sense thing to seek God's wisdom? Of course. Yeah. It's a prerequisite for wise decision making, yes, I would say. Exactly. So that's the first part of our plan. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh. Um, do you think that that's one of the reasons that your successes, which are just measurable, I'm not saying this for ideological reasons, but just a fact that you've transformed the country in a good way and that you're literally the most popular elected leader in the world, again, not speculation, provable fact. You'd think that would be greeted in the hemisphere as this amazing thing, like what's going on in El Salvador? And instead, there's been this, what's going on in El Salvador? Yeah. There's been hostility. Yes. Do you think that's why? I'm, I'm not sure, but one, one of the reasons is that we don't pander to them. So probably they don't like that. It's, pro- it's probably a reason. It's like, um, like there's... Um, I'm not going to go into conspiracy theory. I'm going to go into, into provable facts, right? <laughs> <clears throat> like you said. So there's, uh, there's worldwide agendas, right? These are, these are provable facts, right? They, they, they have benchmarks that they need the countries to follow and they need the countries to do. This is, you know, out there, right? And, but sometimes if you work on those things, uh, you're probably neglecting the important things for your people, the, the, the things that your people are really asking for. I'll give you an example. When we arrested the gang members that were killing, that were killing so much people that we were the murder capital of the world, literally the mo- most dangerous place in the whole world, dang- more, more dangerous than Haiti, right? More dangerous than Iraq. This is, was literally the most dangerous country in the world. We have triple the the amount of m- m- the murder rate that Haiti has right now, with all the mayhem that they have, we have tripled that here. So what what do we have to what do you have to do? You have to stop that, right? I mean, it's like it's a no-brainer. I mean, you have you don't have to even, you 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 don't even need to have a big thought process. You just you have to stop that. That's the first thing you have to do. When we did when we did that, we got huge condemnations. You, you, you name it. Say an organization, we got a condemnation from them. So, and they were, and they, and, and a lot of them were human rights organizations. And you would ask, but, but the human, what, what about the human right of a woman not to be raped? I mean, what, what about the human right of kids to, you know, to, to, to play or to be free or to, you know, go to the park? And what about the human right to live? Or the human right to walk in the street? Right? And... But no, they were, they were worried about the human rights of the, of the killers, which, you know, they have human rights. I, I don't say they don't. They're humans. But, but if you have to prioritize, what, what will you prioritize? Yes. Right? The human rights of the honest, hardworking, decent people, not the, not, the, not the human rights that they do have. But you, will not, you won't prioritize the, the, the human rights of the killers and rapists and murderers. And... Um, so we, we secured the country, and we did it with no help from any other country and with huge, huge condemnation in everything that we were doing, everything. I mean, we, we changed the attorney general. We, we got so much condemnation because we changed the attorney general. 